Well, good morning and welcome to the next of our daily videos from Yoker Evangelical Church. This morning in our quiet times, we read from Leviticus chapter 4 and we read Psalms 1 and 2. In this video, I'd like to share something from Psalm 1 that encouraged me this morning and that I hope will help you. If you've got a Bible there, why not open it up to Psalm number 1 and let's read together. So Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. The psalm uses this picture of a tree to show as a believer. And the tree it pictures is one that has been planted by a stream, so its roots are in the water. And you can imagine that tree would grow up healthy and strong. It would bear good fruit every year because its foundation is in the water. It's being fed constantly. And this picture is of a believer who dwells richly in God's word as somebody who loves to read it and to pray about it and to share it. Somebody who doesn't just read a verse from God's word and then move on and do the rest of their things, but somebody who reads it and then takes time to dwell on it, to reflect on why it's good news, to reflect on how they can act in response to it. At, during this time of isolation, I think it's easy for us to feel that we are going to dry up in our faith. I think it's easy to feel that while we're not able to get to church, we are missing out on stuff, and we are. But that doesn't mean that we have to dry up in our faith. Actually, this psalm encourages us that we can have good roots if we stay in God's word, if we take time every day to read it, pray about it, share it. Imagine if we treated God's word like people are treating the daily coronavirus updates. You know, every day when they come on, people watch it intently and then they think about how they should act in response to it and then they phone their friends to see what they thought. Christians, that's what we should be like with God's word. We should be taking it all in. We should be reflecting on it and sharing it with others. And if we do this, we will be like that tree that has good roots. We will be blessed. We will be fruitful. And so I want to encourage you this morning that this time of isolation doesn't have to be one where we wither in our faith. It doesn't have to be a time where we are cut off from God. Actually, the opposite is true. This can be a time where we are focused on dwelling richly in God's word, where we spend time to consider it, to reflect on it. And then as we share it with other people over the phone, we can be growing together as a church. So I want to encourage you, after this video is finished, why not take some time to pray? Uh, pray that God would help you to dwell richly in his word and that he would bless you through that. And then why not take some time to share something that encouraged you from this morning? If there's people in the house with you, talk to them about what you read. And if you are alone, then talk to somebody over the phone. Phone people and be talking about God's word. Well, may the Lord bless and encourage you today.